We just finished watching a little Mount Da Vinci video about some of his inventions. And uh, somebody who does inventions is called inventor. Who can tell me what inventor is? Marty. Um, an inventor is someone who makes uh, or invents something like a machine or a te or teddy bears like toys or or food like ice cream or bread. That's or, very good. Or countries that they invented. Inventing is something and making something new. It's all right. That's good enough. That's good enough. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to be reading your segment from the book that you do for comprehension. And we're going to look at some words that are related to inventions. Okay, this says, say, the title says, Leonardo da Vinci, the inventor. Okay, artists have often found it difficult to make a living. Even master painter like Leonardo da Vinci needed to take another work to support himself. So he adapted his drawing skills to other fields. He worked as an architect, a military engineer, and canal builder. He was also a weapons designer. Most of Leonardo da Vinci's inventions were not built during his lifetime. Still, he may not be the greatest inventor who ever lived. The chain and gear system that powers bicycles was first designed in 1490 by Leonardo. It was Leonardo who invented the first rotisserie oven and the first dining suit. He was also the first person to have the idea of making contact lenses. He even developed a form of air conditioning. Okay, so you see on the book you have the highlighted words over here. So what is the first thing that you remember about Leonardo since, since I read the story? What was he originally doing? How, how did he start as an inventor? Hmm. Well, well, he adapted. What's the very first, first, pair, very first sentence in the page? What does it say? Danny, can you look? What's the very first word that it says in, in the beginning of the paragraph? Artist. He was an artist, right? So what does artist do? Enough. Hold on. Zarya, what do artists do? Yeah, you know. Come, come on, Zarya, you can do it. You can do it, Zarya. Come on, you, you take art classes, right? Come on, Zarya. So what do you do in your art class? Yourself. It's okay. What do you do in your art class? Zarya, what do you do in your art class? Do you paint? Or draw pictures? I do pumpkins. You do pumpkins? You carve pumpkins in art class? No, carve them just shading. You paint them? Just shading. Oh, okay. So that's a shading. You can carve pumpkins. You can, you can make sculptures out of it. What else are you still? Um, they paint they paint uh, pictures like uh, my favorite artist uh, Claude Monet from my favorite country France or mm -hmm. or like Leonardo da Vinci. So so artists are kind of like inventors, right? Uh -huh. They invent new pictures, new sculptures, new things. But he couldn't make a living doing art, right? Yeah, like me and uh, Zaria are artists and coloring. That's country right. Flags. So. He couldn't make a living being an artist, so he had to start doing something. And he started making invention because he related to art. Because he knew how to draw things really good. So, he says here, Vince needed to take another work to support himself. So he adapted his drawing skills to other fields. He worked as an architect, a military engineer, and a cattle builder. I'm going to write those words down. You don't need to copy them because it's a blue. Okay? So these are some of the jobs. He was an artist. Okay? He was an architect, a military engineer, and cattle builder. Okay, so let's look at those three different things that they have on the board. So we already looked at an artist, right? And we know what artists do, right? They design and make sculptures and drawings and they use colors and things. What does an architect do? Guys know what architect is? Do you know what an architect is? Never heard the, heard the word? Architect is somebody who designs buildings and, and make design roles. Kind of like an engineer. Okay? And what about military engineer? What do you think military engineer would do? What is military? Danny, you know what military is, right? Military? Give it a try. What does military do? What do you need a military for? To protect the country. To protect the country. So sometimes they have to go to war, right? So engineer is somebody who designs things, right? 
So what do you think military engineering design is? They have to go to war. What kind of things you have? What kind of things you need when you go to war? Marley. What do you mean? Well, what do you need when you go to war in order to win the war? Sometimes. Uh, what do you use in the war? Maybe guns and guns, swords. Guns, that's right, guns and swords. And what else? Horses, sometimes. In the old days, armor. they used horses and with armor. Okay, so they use weapons like tanks, guns, armor so, to protect yourself, helmets, right? So military engineer is somebody who designs all those things, right? Kind of like artists designs paintings and sculptures. Architects design homes, houses, bridges, roads. And then you have canal builders. Can you tell me what canal is? Anybody know what canal is? Have you heard the word canal? I've never heard of it. Never heard the word canal? Okay, canal is a pathway. Okay, and he designed canals in the city that he lived. I can't remember the name of the city off the top of my head, but canal is a place where you have water going through. And they didn't have plumbing in those days. So the only way they, he designed canals that you could put water in and people could go with the buckets and get water from there. Okay, or, or to use them clean houses. Canals are things that are pathways to something. Have you ever heard of this thing called root canal? The dentist does when you have a bathroom and the root of the tooth gets really bad, they need to make a canal in there and clean it up and put, it, put something in that's supporting. So it's a, it's a little hole that they put, uh, protect the root in. So they put something in. So it's a pathway or uh, a place to put things in. Canal mostly is used in the word when you put water going through, okay? Then we have another word here, innovations. We can just stop it. <laughs>